Hey, so this is uh, video three of div four. Um, we left off right here. We clicked the background of the uh, form, went to load, chose FRM new order load. Um, we look at all these. So there's a bunch of radio button things we can do. Check changed. So we click on sales, check changed, good. Check changed, good. Check changed, good. Uh, let's look at the other ones. BTN choose account click. That looks good. That one looks good. Um, let's see. TXT, LB. So TXT and LB. Text changed, good. And list box, good. Okay, so uh, now if we run it, Go to new order. Now it actually forces us to choose. We can say choose customer, choose supplier, choose employee. And we can start typing until we get this nice error here. What do we get? Oh, yeah, we didn't change anything there. Okay, so we will need to change this from that to that. So BES, we want that to be a B E, unless you have your table as B E S, it all depends on your database. Um, run it, run it this, run this thing again. See if we get any errors up till now. Yo, yeah. Apparently we didn't do it everywhere. I guess. Yep, we didn't do it everywhere. So stop debugging. Run it again. New order, choose a customer, and we got new, we got you know, Yoda dog, start new order, we get this nice details form, and that's where we will go ahead and start now, let's see, uh, close out of that, oh yeah, and if you, uh, if you wanted to, I mean you should do this, go ahead and change the group box text and LB, uh, you could change this to anything. Actually, that's fine, but uh, let's see. Uh, you want to change this so that it will auto size false, and then you can stretch it out. Um, that's kind of a little better, I guess. You can change the group box names to whatever this says right here. Now, let's go back and. Uh, Let's go in into the code first, I guess. Let's go to details, come all the way down. Uh, to, oops. There we go. Uh, there we go. Copy that. Um, save all. Close all. Form details, view code. Take all that out. Control A, Control V. And should have that. Should have a lot of errors now. 90 errors. Okay, 90. Let's see. Uh, Double click that, and dang, that's not good. Okay, let's not do that, then let's, there we go. That's better, huh? Yep, it is, huh? Yeah. So let's just uh, make our form first, I guess. Instead of copying code first, let's just make the form. Um, okay, let's see here. Uh, no code first, apparently. Let's do this. Uh, LBL order ID. Let's see. Get a nice label. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I think we need twelve labels, so. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, I guess. And so this one could go down here, this one could go right here, this one could go right around there, this next one could go right there, and we do about three or so, oops, three or so right up in here somewhere, and then another one right there, another one right here. And another one up here somewhere. 
And we're missing one, aren't we? Yep. Okay, that's good. Let's see. I didn't make enough, did I? Probably not. Nope, I did. So let's, uh, let's move this one right here. Okay, so that should be good. And then, uh, we'll need a text box. Whoops, yep. Text box somewhere up here, I guess. And a list box. Let's see, list box right here. We don't want it to hide this, though. Um, then we want a uh, another list box down there, so we just copy and paste them. We want a couple more text boxes. We want a couple buttons. Over there, and one down here. And uh, LBL order ID, he already has some of the names for us mapped out, which is nice. We can name that too, just so we know that we named it. LBL advice. Copy it. Come up here, paste it. And TXT G search. Text, change that. Um, LB matching records list box. B matching records. Go ahead and text it. Whoops. Oh, it's uh, items. Oh, wait a second. We don't need to do that. Yeah, take that out. We don't want that. It's already going to say the name of it for us. Okay, and then uh, LBL selected record. And then txt qty and txt each and lbl extended LBL ledger uh, LBL GSID and make sure you name all these the exact same as what he says on there because you might get an error uh, in the code later LB details so this list box right here is going to be LB details, which will list all the details for the order, I guess. It's already named for us, text wise. LBL order total. LBL order total. Uh, at this point, um, we probably go ahead and copy and paste the code in, I guess. Uh, let's go ahead and see here. Get out of that. And go into that. And come on down here and do that. Copy that and uh, paste it in. Let's double check that the form looks good. Okay, done break. That's nice. Then we can continue. Ooh, txt gs search. Oh, see, I didn't name it right, so there we go. Hmm. And then uh, now that oops, now that 
uh, error should go away. btn add detail. If we look back at our image, whoops, not that image, this one. Add details right here. So we want that to say, uh, you know, we could say add detail. And then up here, button one should just say that maybe. Um, tender, there's a tender button somewhere. See where that tender button is. There is a tender right there. So BTN tender. That's what we want to name tender. Name that tender, and then up here, name that tender. And then uh, these labels don't matter if you name them or not but you do want to change the text form to whatever he has there so gs id pound um, qty each extended uh, order total Make sure we don't have any thing unnamed. And that looks good. A new text message. Um, so let's see. Um, let's go ahead and get out of that. And you're going to have the same database error, so just fix that. Uh, fix that. Fix that. And then one more somewhere. Right there. Fix that. Now let's run it. Let's see what the errors we get. We should get some errors, I'm sure. Because we're not that good. And those aren't actually... Mm, well, they're er well, it's, it's a fine error. It's, it's okay to have that. And uh, it's actually working pretty well. It's just that we don't have any goods in the GS table right now, so that's why it's not really doing anything for us. It's not finding anything. Let's exit out, exit out, and just go to the design view. Look on the back of the form, the load, FRM details load. We're going to go and choose that. And then uh, we got that working. LB matching records. Selected index change, we want to go and choose that. And then btn add detail click, that works. txt qty, text changed, that works. The other text box, txt each, that works. And this button right here should say click, and that works. All those work. So all the methods and events and everything works well. Um, you can move these around if you wanted to. Doesn't matter. Uh, make it a little prettier. But I'll just leave it like that. Uh, a little bit at least. Maybe move that a little bit and that and that a little bit. All right. Let's see. Um, where are we at? Thirty-four seconds. Okay. So this was just a video sh showing you how to make the form, I guess. Um, next thing we want to do is. Actually, I'm going to not do that first. I'm going to do this one after this. Yep, I'm going to do that one after that. So, uh, go ahead and stop that, and I'll continue with the next video. And we will um, simply um, do some sample data stuff from Div 2.